Hello there. Well, fall is almost here and I can feel it. Almost feel it, even though it's still hot. All right, I already got my primer on and I'm gonna use Midnight Cowboy 24 seven eye pencil by Urban Decay as a highlight, my fave. Then I'm taking Baked, another Urban Decay 24 seven pencil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna smear that all over my eyelid. And this will serve as a base. I'm gonna smudge that also so it doesn't. Can't find the word. It doesn't do what I want it not to do. <laughs> Make sense? Okay, good. to take my pinky and smear things for some reason. Then I'm taking Sugar Pills, Goldilocks, my favorite eyeshadow in the world. And I'm going to take my Sigma blending brush in E25 and I'm going to just blend that all over my eyelid. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is going to serve as a gold tone base for my other eyeshadows because they're mostly bright and matte, so I want them to be a little shimmery. Then using my Sugar Pill Pro palette, I'm going to take the red and put that on the inner corners of my eye. Inner corner. And I'm taking the orange of the same palette and I didn't show you where it is but it's the orange the only orange I'm gonna smear that and blend it smear wasn't a nice word blend it that's the word I was looking for there I go then I'm taking the yellow and putting that right behind the orange noticed how noticed very good at narrating guys very good um, <laughs> notice how these eyeshadows are becoming frosted and a little gold brown neutral toned sort of does that make sense taking the dark green from the palette and I'm gonna put that on the outer corners of my eye and blend 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 So what I was saying was, um, the gold is going to serve as this uh, brown base, I guess? Shimmer base? Brown shimmer base? That didn't make sense either. Allow me to just mumble nonsense into your ears while I do makeup. Enjoy. Taking the same blending brush and I'm gonna blend, blend, blend that out. Now I'm taking some orange from the same palette and I'm gonna pat that into my lower brow bone shadow. It's not really a crease, so I can't call it a crease. I wanna call it a crease, but it's not a crease. So it's a lower brow bone area. And I'm setting that right on top of the green. And once I pat that in, 
I start blending that out into the green and out to my brow bone. So it makes this color changing fall leaves effect. Taking the same highlight and just highlighting some more. Gradually putting some on to the red that I applied earlier. Then taking the remainder eyeshadow that was on the brush and smudging that on my lower lash line. And to make the same effect, I'm going to take the yellow and put that on the middle of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the orange and put that on the inners. sweep off the other eyeshadow on your face. Next, I'm going to take my Maybelline Stiletto Line Eyeliner, Liquid Liner, and I'm going to draw on the shape that I want for my eyeliner. This time I'm going super cat eye, so the highest wing possible, slash sharpest. Booyah. Taking Inglot 77 gel eyeliner and I'm going to fill that in. And this is a Sonia Keshik's uh, eyeliner brush. I don't know what number it is or what. I think it's just an eyeliner brush. I think they're pretty simple at Target. I noticed I made a few mistakes, little bumps here and there, but you can always clean that up with concealer. Always. And if you put too much concealer, you can add more eyeliner. I'm messy today. smudge a little bit of that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to tight line, I guess they call it, with my liquid liner that I used earlier. And fill in those spaces. Then I'm taking my lashes and applying those. I actually took my um, Ardell Demi Wispies and combined them with the Femme Fatale lashes by True or False Lashes and I just stacked those together to create this Super thick lash. My favorite part, mascara, because that means I'm almost done. Slightly put some mascara on because you already have some dramatic lashes and apply that on your lower lash. Optional, because sometimes I don't like putting mascara on my lower lash. Then I'm going to take this Maybelline 24-7 color in Timeless Toffee. 
and they were spot on with this color because I would explain this color to be toffee as well. So good job, Maybelline. Now I like that my camera is focusing only on the applicator. You want to be very careful when you're applying this because it does dry and stays where you place it, hence 24-7 lip color. And once that's dried, I'm going to take the other end of the lipstick thing, and it's basically like a chapstick. It smells really good, and it's super nice feeling. <laughs> And then I'm gonna fix my hair because it's junky as frick. And just pose for the camera. 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 I'm not saying camera right. See ya.